we need to come together, more especially bringing the Muslims from the northern part of the country with those from the southern part of the country to be on the same page on issues to do with uh, Islam generally. Secondly, I want to also suggest, as I heard from the lecture of uh, Professor Dogarawa, on the challenges facing the application of Sharia in Northern Nigeria, or in Nigeria generally, I suggest a prompt, concise, and well-researched papers and responses to the challenge usually raised by the Southern press, which dominates the general opinion of people concerning the Sharia. Uh, usually they think that anything to do with the Sharia, any issue raised concerning the development application and uh, discussions to do with Sharia is an agitation for uh, saying that or claiming that people from the north want to disintegrate the country. I think that there is need for intellectual responses on this. As per the issue of uh, Ishtihad on issues to do with uh, the leadership of women and uh, other things that have been uh, brought this morning and uh, up to the afternoon, I think uh, one of the uh, things I want to suggest in this regard is the Supreme Council for Sharia in Nigeria in conjunction with uh, the Fatwa Committee of the Ba'at Nasr al-Islam who represent the Muslim Ummah generally on such issues should uh, come together in order to bring concise and uh, something close to ijma if that kind of uh, terminology is accepted at least or an opinion from the majority of the ulama inshallah in nigeria to discuss otherwise uh, if i am to talk concerning the way to deal with the nusus of the sharia it is very uh, important for a muslim to know that islam the way it is it is a revelation. It is not based on individual opinions. So whoever has an opinion, if the nas is there from the Quran or the Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is established to have been authentic, then as you know, let's jihada ma'an nas, although you know the meaning of, uh, there are differences of opinion from the ulama as to the meaning of this, let's jihada ma'an nas. But once you have an explicit statement from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there is no cause for somebody to claim that uh, he can go against it. Really, uh, ishtihad is permissible more especially in this time of ours there are new issues that rise from time to time but we are generally guided by what by the nusus we should try as much as possible to remember that islam is following the nusus it is not for somebody to just say, okay, at any point in time, the ulama can either say this is halal or this is haram without resorting to the nusus. This is very dangerous. So as an issue to do with uh, al manhajiya the methodology of carrying out these kind of things, it is very important for the ulama to be very careful in this regard. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.